uh, to add to this area over here and this area over here. I'll do this off camera and once I have the cover put on I'll show you the tightening sequence. So this is the bead here as well and now it's time to put the cover on. Okay so the cover is on. We've got the diagram showing us the order. So it's one, two, then it's three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, then and we've got eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and twenty. Bolt of cylinder head cover to camshaft house bearing. Cylinder head cover. Okay, so cable routing. Until I put the airbox with the master flow sensor and the air filter and the ECU, I want to show you what goes into what. So over here you've got the injectors. First injector, second injector, third and fourth injector. Then you've got a sen sensor over here. And you've got connector over here, a connector over here. You've got a fixed point for the loom passing through, another fixed point over here, and uh, basically those are all the connectors. I can't see any others on other ones. These are up top. Down below, don't forget the supercharger ground. On this side, you've got the piggyback wire for the intake camshaft magnet, the piggyback wire for the exhaust camshaft magnet, the ground, and then the connectors. First sensor is the temperature sensor, Second sensor is down below. Don't know what's happening with that electrical connector. I'll have to check it out. Then up top we've got a sensor over here. Then we've got the coils, four coils. Then a sensor over here on the vacuum transducer. And let's not forget about routing the Electrical connector for the alternator Which in the end goes down there Okay, so one of the tricks to put properly the air box Because it's a bit difficult You have to fit this elbow Sorry, you have to fit that elbow inside of this uh, Rubber hose or whatever you want to call it so in order to do that you have to get these pliers have them keep the uh, clamp in position grease up that really well also let's apply a dab of grease here on this rubber so it will slide in easier and now it's time to put it in place ah don't forget that it sits in place uh, you don't have to take off this connector because it's quite hard to put it back this is uh, a pain in the butt to put from underneath so don't ever try to do that you're gonna fail miserably I know I did 
Oh, and you've got this locator pin and that locator pin, so basically that slides in. Those locator pins slide in this and this grommet. Okay, so we are coming close to the final moments. Uh, right, I do need to mention that I don't have in the spark plugs just because of the fact that I want to turn the engine uh, when I have the coil packs removed uh, and no spark plugs. The reason why I have them in is because I have uh, tightened the uh, rocker cover, camshaft cover, and uh, well, it applies it applies torque evenly uh, throughout the throughout the board. Next uh, part of the video will contain me. Uh, will show how I will start. Uh, or or crank start the engine in attempt to build up oil pressure. I will not be starting it just because I don't want to have it started without any oil pressure. So I just want to crank it up, build oil pressure, and then I will do a final uh, a installation of the spark plugs, fill the fill the fuel system with the petrol and uh, then definitely start the engine anyways oil is added uh, coolant is added I just have to add one more liter of what of distilled water uh, what I've added is free uh, actually f I think it's f let me so I've added three liters of uh, antifreeze and just two liters of water. I still need to add one more liter of water but the level is quite high and I can't even add it at this moment. Anyways, uh, I've done a lot today. I'm tired and I'm gonna go home. Right, so last night as I was nearing my uh, end of all abilities to work I have managed to mount this airbox filt uh, air filter airbox it was quite uh, a struggle to do it today I have uh, the following task to remove the coils as you well know right now we don't have any spark plugs in it because I'm planning to spin the engine with the with the electric motor over and over just so it will uh, build up oil pressure and let's say avoid uh, running the engine dry I've done also another thing uh, prior to that I don't know if I showed you I filled uh, this jug with one liter of oil and I put the filter inside so that it will be uh, with some oil inside of it so the new oil will flow easier anyways enough talking let's get started the first thing that I want to do is uh, nope the first thing that I want to do is check the voltage on the battery and then put the battery tender on it so that we uh, let's say have enough juice to kick over the engine anyways let's check with the multimeter the battery voltage okay so let me put the multimeter over here like this and then Twelve point four, something like that. Yep, definitely we need to put the battery tender on. So the battery tender is set to twelve volt. It's set on boost. You also can see that it's aiming toward six to seven amps. It shows that the battery is uh, in poor condition. 
I'll leave it like that for as long as I need time to do the rest. So I'm gonna continue right now changing the air filter over here. This is the old filter, not a lot of stuff going on, so it was quite okay. Good, I was beginning to worry that this filter won't fit, but it's the same, it's the same thing, I've measured it in height, in diameter, and 